Oh, what's up, guys? Hey, this is Mr. McDermott. This is my iPad. I'm doing the iPad video version of how to use Google Docs. We'll see how this goes because I definitely am better on the computer, but I will give it a shot. So we want to make sure as freshman form teachers, myself, Mr. Eskra, Mr. Mason, and Ms. Meglerino, that we're being as useful as possible, that we're helping you with all this tech stuff, you know, you and all the other millions of kids going through the work from home stuff right now. Um, so first mission, getting to know you and Google Docs. So before you do this Google Doc assignment that we posted, I want you, you got to watch this video, which apparently you are because you hear me. And uh, we're going to learn the ins and outs, the nitty gritty of Google Docs and how it works. In this case, this is the iPad video. If you're at home on a Chromebook or something, watch the other video, but this is for you. First thing I want to say, Google Docs, you know, it's, it's cloud-based. It's like Microsoft Word's uh, equivalent, right? But it's all cloud-based and you can do it uh, anywhere, anywhere with internet connection. What am I looking up? Oh, the classroom. Now, first of all, when you're done with this video and you go to classroom to open up the doc and like do your assignment, people are struggling in both of my classes with how to use actual docs. People are using Notability by default. I'm getting a lot of PDFs. I didn't ask for PDFs, I asked for docs, okay? This is my history class post. I realize this is not history class, but let's just say it is. I go there, the teacher posted this. I'm gonna click on it, or I'm gonna touch it, I guess, because it's an iPad and that's how it works. And so I'm like, oh, what the heck? Uh, it's not working. But look up here, top corner, hello. Export button, hey, go back. And then, and then it shall open in Docs, okay? And then I either click the little pen button or I double tap the screen. And now we're moving, see? See how that works? Anyway, let's go back to Docs, shall we? I have my nice, neatly organized folder. So what I'm doing in this video is I'm gonna walk you through, I'm gonna walk you through what, so I'm creating new, I'm creating a new document. Let's give it a name. Let's call it, now I have a wireless keyboard because I'm super awesome and I have a wireless keyboard. I realize that the school iPads, they disabled Bluetooth. Sorry. Ah, the best dock ever. My keyboard is sliding. Oh well. Create, thank you very much. Now I'm going over this video in the order that the worksheet is. You're gonna have to like work on, okay? So pay attention. And you might have to come back to this video later if you get stuck on the worksheet. So this is gonna save automatically. You knew that, that's old news to you. We named the actual document itself so that I can find it in my Google Drive, but let's give the paper a title. And I have the perfect title. I know it's gonna be the best title ever. Man, this just looks terrible. It's like to the left, it's not centered or anything. Why, who would have a, a title like that? So I'm gonna, of course, up here, print, click the, Oops, sorry, it's unfocusing, my bad. I'm going to center that, and then I'm gonna highlight it. I know my screen is getting a lot of focus. Okay, great. Let's do this. Let's change the color, because why wouldn't want to do that? So I'm changing by clicking the A, as in the letter A, and let's bold it. Man, that's better, we're getting there now. Yes, yes, we did it. Now, I want to change the font size because it's kind of a small font size. You know, I'm out of options. What am I going to do? But over here on the right side, this A, this A symbol, do you see that? With the lines, that's so many options. That's such an important button. Uh, let's see, I'm going to, there's the, it says 11 point font. Are you kidding me? 11 point font, come on. And then I'm going to click back there. I'm going to, if my keyboard were coming up on the screen, you know, press enter a couple of times. Shoot, but I'm on, I wanna to go to the left. I don't wanna be on the middle here. I wanna be on the left side. I'm gonna start typing stuff. So what do I do? Well, two options. One, you can press backspace. Oops, maybe not. Why wouldn't it let me? That's funny. <laughs> I guess on the computer you can, not here. I don't have to press the left align. Go back to black font, please. And a smaller size, that's good. Okay, so let's say the next step would be typing a little sentence, my little intro sentence of my summer. How was my summer? This, oops, I don't want to be bold. And, why didn't you guys tell me to, to change the bold and highlight? This summer, I changed two toilets. 
I switched out two toilets. I installed a wax ring. Do you guys know how to install a toilet? I don't know. YouTube showed me how, so thank you. And the best, the worst part is it wasn't even my toilets. It was for uh, my mother-in-law. So I was happy to do it, but I guess now at least I know how to. Let's say you're gonna have to highlight a word. How do I highlight a word? You know, like the neon yellow, for example. The subject of the sentence, I believe a third grade teacher might say, is toilets. So let's highlight toilets. I, I double clicked it or double touched it, I guess. Click that little marker button. Gotta love, gotta respect the yellow. There it is. Uh, you know what, summer. I just, why not add some color to your life? I'm gonna click the word summer. I'm gonna change the font to like a, I did orange. Another bay, there we go. See, look, this summer I changed two toilets. We learned how to highlight right there and change the font right there. Next, we gotta insert a table, which I'm actually a little nervous about. I don't know if I know how to do this. This could be interesting. I wonder, oh boy, got it, the plus button. See, plus, as in like add something, you know, you get it in math, math is fun table whoops plus table how many columns do i want i want it to be a three by three i want there to be three columns i want there to be three rows how did it read my mind gosh steve jobs reading my mind so there it is let's fill some of those uh cells with my favorite things you know what i want to do actually first I want to combine some. I wonder if it'll let me do this. Shoot. It might not let me combine. Hmm. I wonder if it'll let me combine. I'm trying to merge. The word is merge. I'm I'm betting we cannot merge in a Google Doc. Good to know. I'll have to make sure the doc that you're gonna fill out says you cannot merge cells on a iPad. If you think you can, you're getting extra credit. If you email me and let me know how to do that, you're getting extra credit for sure. Anyways, let's instead of that, let's list our favorite things. Let's just pretend this these top cells were merged, like as one big one. I'm gonna write favorite things. And I'm gonna write some of my favorite things. Oh, I know, I'll do guitars. Fender is a brand of guitars. What else? Gibson is a brand of guitars. Ibanez is a brand of guitars. Ibanez. What else we got? I have a Line 6 guitar. They're fun. Makes any sound. Sounds like any guitar you want it to. It's pretty cool. Uh, Yamaha, or you could do Washburn. My first, I started playing guitar in ninth grade, just like you You guys are in ninth grade. And uh, I got myself a $130 Washburn. It does not does not work any longer because, you know, that's what happens when you buy $130 guitars. But let's do one more. Martin, Martin Brand. It's a great guitar. Super duper expensive. Very, very good. So there, we did that. Let's go back and change things up a little bit, though. Mm, the font is fine. I'm okay with the font. Things are... We should center everything. I wonder if we're going to do this manually. We're going to have to do this for every cell, I guess, if we want to manually. So you get the idea. There's that. And if I want to change the color, of course, same as before, so that's easy. In fact, I'm going to highlight this. Washburn. First ever. What else can we do? Now, if I want to add a new row, I don't know if I can do that on the... I don't know if I can add... Oh, oh, look what happened. I clicked the, a cell. Look up here. Plus. There's like a plus button. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Look, we learned something together, people. Because I wanted to bring up new, more guitars. You know? Alvarez is a great one. Alvarez... Oh boy. So you get the idea. Yeah, you don't have to like start over. You don't, you don't have to make a new chart. You can just keep adding to it. And let's see if we can change the color. That's what I'm worried about is can we change? So let's go to this button. Text color, highlight color, font, style, table. There we go. Fill color, thank you. Oh man, I have to do this individually? Bummer. What would happen? That seems kind of silly, right? Doesn't that seem silly? That I'd have to do this manually one at a time. Yeah. Oh, well. On the worksheet, you'll have to do that. But look, you can just highlight a couple of them. I'll forgive you. If you just get a couple, 
you do two like I did, you'll be fine. You'll get full credit. So that's how you change the background color. Next, let's see here. Let's say that we're gonna create a new chart. I'm gonna go to add, the add the plus button. I'm gonna add something, I'm gonna add another table. I want it to be three by three, please. You know what I wanna do? I wanna make a list of my favorite uh, shows. Summer, a lot of binge watching going on, right? Netflix and Hulu and, well, YouTube and Amazon and all that stuff. So let's see here. The show I've binged twice in a row now over the last year and a half, The Office and a show called um, Parks and Rec. The sister show, the same people who made The Office made Parks and Rec. Let's say in this cell, I wanna add a picture. So look, I click the plus button because I'm adding something, I'm clicking image. Ah, darn. See on the computer, you can like go do a Google search straight from there, but it looks like I cannot do that in this case. So we're gonna have to pull up the old Google. Google, Google. Google, The Office, The Office cast. Come on, what is this? Oh boy, <sighs> such a great picture. All right, so you know there's a couple ways. One, I'm holding my finger on it, I'm gonna click download image. Or I can do the old screenshot method, right? Let's see if I still, boop. Holding the home button and the power button at the top, you know this. Docs, where are you? Click on from photos. There it is. Oh boy. It's kind of goofy looking. Looks like I might have to. How do we do this on the iPad is the question. Oh, there it is. I touched it like the right amount of times and I got the right symbol nope you guys are probably like uh, I know a better way to do this whatever man why don't you tell me about it well I'll forgive you there has to be a better way maybe this is why Yin's guys like notability so much it's possible I swear I saw it I'm doing something wrong. Well, I guess if you're on the iPad and you're doing this activity, then I will have to forgive you because I don't know what the heck I would do to make this work properly. On the computer, like I said, it's always more features on the computer. Oh, well, that one's a fail, so I'll have to make a note of that. The picture. Make a note. So what else am I gonna do? Wrap this up. I don't wanna be any longer than I have to. Let's say, let's say I wanna go up here. Add a comment. Do you guys know how to add a comment? Maybe your English teacher, or definitely your, your history teacher, uh, you're writing like a rough draft of a paper, and like, or a kid in your class is gonna comment, oh, great job, I really love your intro sentence. If I highlight the word Martin, see how the one option here says add comment. If I click that, you're like sharing a doc with a buddy. Hey, what a great brand of guitar. I'll say of acoustic, it's more of an acoustic brand, period check send here you go what the heck where'd it go that didn't work false as dwight might say i clicked the little chat symbol thingy up there and there it is see we're adding a comment you're gonna have to do that on the assignment please and two more items to say let's say i'm gonna look up my favorite place to visit which is the millville oops Millville Borough is a bustling community. Uh, we'll call it a gem. It's a gem. Say I want to add a hyperlink. Like I want to have people click, be able to click on. I'm making like a, a brochure and I want people to be able to click on Millville Borough. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click insert link. But I guess before that I should have had should have had it pulled up. So go into the Google. You know what? I'm going to use the uh, old voice. Millvale Borough. Why is there a, an, a U? Why is there a G? I don't get it. I don't know. 
They have a lovely website. Seriously, I do love Millville. The businesses, the restaurants, um, the music scene, their music fest thing is awesome. Copy, all right, I'm going back. Double tap, back to docs. Here I am, I'm gonna paste that link straight there. Touch it one more time, paste. And I'm gonna click the check mark right here. The Millville Borough is a bustling community gym. That doesn't really make sense as a sentence, but you get the idea. One last thing, you know how to do this, right? I'm gonna make a bulleted list. Bulleted list of favorite uh, colors. How do I do that? It's so simple. There it is. Wow, that was so tough. Purple. Yellow. Red. Uh-oh, you know what? I feel like doing uh, a sub list, sub bullets. So on my keyboard, I'm gonna click tab, or you guys can do this button right here. Did you know this button with the arrow? You're gonna like send things over one. And you know, let's list two things that are red, shall we? Fire trucks are red. Many fine fire companies here in Shaler area, of course. Fire trucks, and what else is red? Oh, I don't know, pimples. Pimples are red, that's fun. Shoot, I don't want a third item. I want to go back to the big bullets on the left. What do I do? Oh, I know what I do. I push this arrow right up here to make it move it back to the left. And now I'm adding a third color, brown. Everyone's favorite color, brown. Perfect. All right, look, I am done with this video. It was 16 and a half minutes. Please go back to classroom. Please open the doc that I shared with you. Please do not use Notability. Please try to open it in docs by pushing the export button at the top. Follow the directions. You might have to come back to this video maybe even more than once i don't know give it a shot please email me if you're confused don't like get all upset and nervous it's okay we'll figure it out together no big deal just try all right people good stuff 